Good Saturday morning, everybody. Welcome to 256 Garage Weekend Review. Uh, last Saturday in October, I think uh, Tuesday is Halloween. So that make this, what, the 28th, I believe. But anyway, we're going to give you a walk around, show you what's going on. Uh, show you, maybe tell you about if I can remember what got finished, where we're at, what's coming up, all that good kind of stuff. So anyway, let's get started with this walk around. First, I'm going to show you the little the Royal Ranger out there. I know you know about it. It's finished, just waiting for pickup. Uh, I believe the man picked up the little Nissan pickup yesterday. Uh, got it gone. Uh, waiting on the taillights and stuff for Old Blue so we can get the taillights working on it. Still just got to find time to get the front end on the Harley truck there. Uh, that's going to be a... That's going to be a little little time consuming lining all that up, making them brackets to fit that 08 front end on that, what is it, 0102 model, something like that. So it's going to take a little time, so we're just kind of on the side burner there. Uh, walk inside the prep shop and the paint shop. Uh, got this little Z28 in to buff. Uh, Another place painted it, and they want Alan to, the customer now has got it over here, want Alan to ultra fine and buff it to make it really shine. Kind of like we did the yellow car that's in here. Uh, if you remember the Chevy 2, he's been working and buffing on it. Like I said, this one right here, uh, somebody else painted it. I, I think actually the customer that we got it from, maybe himself painted it, and it didn't quite turn out to the shine that he wanted, so he brought it here for Alan to cut and buff. And Alan's been sanding and buffing and polishing on it. And you can see it's shining up real good. It's got a few little spots that's maybe going to need some touch-up or something. But it turned out pretty nice. Like I said, this one was painted by someone else. And they just brought it here for Alan to cut and buff. Walk in the paint booth here. Remember the little Tahoe. I don't know if you remember the hood, how bad the hood was. Fender. And there's the bumper. Got them painted on the Tahoe. I believe he painted them yesterday, so may try to get it out in the sun today. That way it'll be ready to put together Monday, hopefully, but get it back together and it'll be ready to go. So like I said, there's, I believe he's about got everything polished on this one. So they'll be picking it up and then he'll be putting the Camaro in here to start polishing on it. wonder what's sitting right there oh, what is that well i'll show that in a minute let's whoa, what is that right in there don't want to see that got a little camaro in here alan drake picked up the other day we put some stripes on it we'll actually have a video kind of time lapse of the stripes going on it nice little old car will be for sale got some dice in the mirror some people like them dice some people don't some of them it just does their head in that's a classic muscle car thing i guess and let's see here. Drake worked on the Camaro some more on the door gaps. Started welding and grinding on this side. Like I said, he's got the other side welded and grinded out ground, I believe. And now he's just working on shaping it in. Got the door up here. Have to get the door back on the car now and start fitting them together to get them gaps nice. Still got the little Toyota over here. I think he, Alan took the headlight out just to make sure there wasn't something back in there that had some damage. Uh, Toyota we got the header panel painted, just ain't had a chance to weld it on. Camaro turned out pretty, didn't it? Let's see, right there is the header panel that was painted. Let's walk out here and show you this little jewel. Well, let's show you the Civic first. Uh, if you remember on the Wednesday video talking about getting some new parts in. Got the old parts cut, in, cut out. We started fitting the new. Well, our frame rail is going to have to come out just a tad. So we're going to have to hook back up to it and pull it out. It actually needs to come out and forward just a little. So we'll get it up. Still got the little Nissan here. And look right here. It's a little Corvette. I'm not sure about the year. I'm sure there's some out there that can just rattle it off right away. I have no idea, really. I know it's a late model. But anyway, it's got some damage on the right side here. Fender, door, quarter. I don't know if it broke a handle there or not. But it's got a, I believe it's also got some damage to the right rear. Well, you can see the wheels busted, but I'm talking about the suspension. 
because I believe the notes on it, it says the wheel moves when they're pushing it. And then some damage on the back bumper. Looks like they side swipe something pretty good, probably driving a little too fast. But anyway, that's gonna be a different little project for us. We work on some nice cars here, but don't really work on the ones that kind of go into the exotic, I guess you call it. I can't show you the insides, good doors locked, everything's put up, keys are locked away. Got some damage on that wheel too. That made the damage on the front wheel. Boy, that was real close right there to blowing off. So it looks like they bounced around everything on it. But that'll be a little future project. Be starting on real soon. Like to see what that turns out when it's done. So anyway, that's what's going on here at the 256 garage. And that's what's coming up next week. Like I said, the Tahoe should be put together. Uh, the Toyota probably should be put together ready for paint and then disassembled ready for paint. Uh, like I said, the Ranger will be picked up. The Chevy 2 should go home. The Camaro will start being buffed. Uh, hopefully, the brake lights will be in for Old Blue. We can get the lights in it. Uh, that's all I can think about the sitting right out here where we can see. I know there's some other stuff coming in. Other stuff is done left that I can't, I can't really remember what they was. But that's this week at the 256 Garage. Appreciate everybody checking us out, tuning in, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And everyone have a good week. 256 Garage out. Yeah.